it wasn't long before business was already booming and we started to attract really good clients. It got nominated, didn't it, for Studio of the Year? Was yeah. that early on? Yeah, early on. It's maybe not the first year. It was kind of the rest of that first year. Darkness had finished by this point, so Dan was like, right, we'll go yeah. commercial with the studio. So the Stone Gods had started, so we were working on a Stone Gods record, mm. which is a fantastic album that they made, the first album. And a few little bits of sessions, a lot of my clients that I'd worked with started coming. And then a man called, uh, we had a phone call from a mutual friend of mine and Dan's, a Welsh guy. He was managing a guy called C6 Steve, who had nowhere to live and wanted to make an album. And C6 basically came and lived with us for six months. Uh, we took him in. Um, he just bought his van and his porridge, porridge pot. That was it. We made an album and halfway through that album, he signed a big deal. Big publishing deal, big record deal, and all of a sudden at the age of like 67 or something, he got his first major record deal halfway through making this album. Um, he had some amazing equipment, amazing guy to work with. Yeah, really recording everything live, just him and his drummer, really good. And he loved our studio with all the vintage yeah. gear and the countryside and all that. It was right up his street. And yeah, it was a great album to be involved in. So Because that was like the first, and that, that was the first year really, and that brought us clients like, through working with Steve, was like Nick Cave and Katie Tunstall. And... Then it just escalated and, and loads of um, great bands of that time just started coming there. And we got Studio of the Year in, I think, the Music Week Studio of the Year, whatever it was. Yeah, 2009. So, yeah, we started build like 2007. So, yeah, 2009, we were Studio of the Year. And that just, it went from strength to strength. You know, bands, uh, the Arctic Monkeys came in. Um, I did all the pre-production with those guys for Humbug there. And they'd had a big big break from playing, so they were getting to know each other again, getting to play, and I set them up in a circle or live, just a few mics, kind of like uh, Rick Rubin would have done or something like that, <laughs> it was, was in yeah. my head. Yeah, they were an amazing band, blew me away. With Alex, amazing, like so talented. Yeah, it was a great session to be involved in. Lots of great bands then just came through and, you know, new and established bands and old bands, Steve Harley, people like that. And it was this new studio that all of a sudden, just had all these amazing clients. Teenage Fan Club came back, did a solo album with Jerry from Teenage Fan Club there, an album with Paul Quinn, who was in Teenage Fan Club for Primary Five there. Um, loads of Scottish bands. Yeah, me and Dan producing records together because Dan had really got into his producing. We did produce the Stone Gods record yeah. together. We had, yeah, and an amazing part of the world, actually. A really, the location, the village, the people we became friends with in the village, the local pub with Tony in, in the pub. It just, it, everything just worked and everything fitted and it was like the ideal studio. Yeah. And we got so busy, we'd had to put a second studio in 